I think what is interesting is when you start to like forge a path in life that you feel <clears throat> engaged by, curious about, empowered by, um, alive again, after feeling like, you know, you've settled for a long time or you didn't really know your purpose and then boom, a series of events help define that sort of vision or mission better. Because it's ever changing, ever evolving, you know, and it doesn't stop and we need to be in constant motion. I don't mean constantly doing things, but we keep it moving. And it's really weird where there's like a backlash or you can feel, because I can read the room, I can read energy, I can read people that I hear from or don't hear from anymore, various things. And we've all got lots going on. I'm not taking this personally. No, no beef. Um, never send beef any, any people's way, regardless of what they think. It's just not my style. But it is weird to me, funny, that um, when one finds happiness, not everybody else can be happy for you. When you embark on something that, because, you know, you're so, bo like, I'm bored of doing the same things. For me, I don't know if it's my brain, whatever, my energy levels, it's the mission I'm being called to. But uh, I need to do things differently from the ways that I used to do them and continue to do them. Like, I just, that's how I learn. We've all got very different learning styles. Some people it's books and academics and some people it's uh, mirroring and visualizing, observing the people. And so immersing themselves in a specific environment. It's like really um, is the way that the, the information, the new information is loaded. Um, I think I'm a little bit croaky. There's a lot of aircon on that flight and stuff, and it just really does me in. Anyway, and I've, my ears popped, you know, and it takes like three days. At some point, I'll be able to hear a conversation at a, at a normal rate, but at the minute, it's all like it's dubbed. So I'm in a world of dub. But um, back to the point, because I can feel that in new energy, new spaces, new trees, new is I get the, I get the overload. Of messages and energy and so I can lose lose sight and lose track of the thread but it comes back um yeah and and knowing ourselves like identifying where we're not um, satiated at a soul level where we're not satisfied in our hearts and minds um, because that then obviously manifests in the physical in various ways through comfort eating, through lack of um, physical exercise, stagnation, through, you know, the negative mindset of like, oh, I can't do it, I can't, I can't, I can't, all this I can't bullshit, which doesn't exist when we empower it, just like it takes time, it's hard, it's a hard grind. We don't have to be doing all day, every day, but when we decide to carve out new things uh, and we focus on what we need to, we don't focus on what is not happening around us, who's not contacting us, because that's all lack. We just have to focus on our vision. And um, it, is, it is weird that when you're on this vibration, uh, on our own vibration, again, not better or worse than anybody, but we're... we're, we're honing in to the messages and the energies around us that have been foreseen, pre-told, dreamt about, visualised, vision, like, you know, we've, we've, <laughs> oh God, there's so many messages coming through, this is amazing, sacred land. So, instead of like, focusing on other people's lives or it's nice to take an interest and, and, and if we desire show support not everybody is supportive of other people that find happiness which is really weird to me but you know that's that's a very low vibration jealousy envy and bitterness and um i believe it's going to be eradicated when people start to um collectively empower themselves more which is happening here and also just coming to a place where I can't feel the envy and bitterness, the vibration that, of course it exists everywhere potentially, not forever, who knows what this 3D, 5D or whatever this new ascension is, but it's different. There is a default energy that is about gratitude and is about living and is about life. And maybe that's why this is a content, content, a continent that I've been visiting for over 15 years now because I'm an energy person and it rejuvenated my soul and spirit to the point of re renewal, 
baby bum fresh feeling. So why am I not going to refresh that and, and make my hard work or focus and mission and time dedicated towards places and spaces and people that elevate joy and radiate happiness and community and want to help each other rather than tear each other down and watch out because she's going to steal my work and blah 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 when like, who comes to any place to do that obviously that's a cologne like that like, there's a lot of stuff intrinsic in these ideals that are being healed in the collective because they see color and various things in certain ways but that colonial mindset is falling like we're what we're witnessing the fall of the british em- <laughs> Ooh, i'm gonna backtrack the roman empire but i said it for a reason so maybe there's stuff that's going to be unfolding but without going down that route because i can feel there's a few channels coming through and i really just wanted it to be about like when we find focus on our own lives and mind our business and not minding our business like oh what she do you know mind your business no like why do we get up what are we doing how are we earning our peas how are we spending them how are we sharing our time are we laughing are we living are we loving are we um living simply and not bowing down to the capitalist powers that push everybody into thinking that you need things all day every day and minimizing how we can so that we can start to get out it takes a long time to grind and get out of a matrix mentality and i only ever talk on this platform as a of things that i've lived experiences i can't speak on what i don't know I can speak on what I don't see because I'm connected to energy. So, but I don't speak on things that I've not personally experienced. I might share stories, but I don't know if it's the truth. It's somebody's truth. I can only share from, <coughs> excuse me, the lived experiences that I'm co-creating with the Gaia, with the d- divine right now. And Earth is the all seeing eye. Like we're watching, witnessing what's happening in Gaia around the world. And people are still not taking this shit seriously. So I feel a prey for people that want to exist in a lower vibration and blame everybody else and, and not be happy for other people when they find happiness and you can see it in them. Because you're only bringing shit, more shit towards yourselves, ourselves when we are like that. You're saying people, oh, you've got a different life to me and you've got more time and... That's all irrelevant. We make our choices. Like, your choices. I'm not responsible for your choices. And you can't make other people responsible for our choices. What might look like less responsibility in the physical world than this, that and the other, it's got nothing to do with, like, a a true, real connection. You don't go around comparing stuff with your friends. Life's not comparison. We've all got our own hardships, mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, financial, whatever. And I trust that when we decide to make the change step by step every day every day we empower ourselves so we don't need to be going around oh why is she different to that person why has he got that more than that because we just stay in our lane and we focus on what we need to focus on to on because we're listening to the messages that we get from whoever we believe in our faith nature ancestors however we connect to a divine higher source that is giving us multiple signs and synchronicities and messages in the non-verbal potentially in the verbal or as in like written written down and sit signs and numbers and various things but anyway 848 so yeah let it crumble let the comparisons crumble let people find their power and uh, we're all out here trying 